The New Hampshire House of Representatives is the third largest legislative body in the world. In Tuesday's election, Republicans captured 203 of its 400 seats, while Democrats took 197. According to House Clerk Paul Smith, that's as close to an even split as the chamber has ever seen. I want to say 1914 or so, uh, there was a, a fairly close election. I believe it was 207 to 195 or thereabouts, um, but but nothing where it's been this, uh, this close. The Republican three-seat majority may not hold. Recounts could shift control to the Democrats by an even narrower margin, and there's still the possibility of a tie. There could be a situation in the recounts where it drops down to 200-200. Republicans expected to grow their majority in this election, not see it shrink. Well, obviously we're uh, a little disappointed and uh, surprised uh, by the results. House Majority Leader Jason Osborne, a chief legislative engineer of recent conservative victories, says voters have collectively chosen a new way forward for the House. They'll get to see a, a, a different side of, uh, of me for sure and uh, hopefully a, a different side of, uh, of the rest of my members as well. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, just in terms of that uh, working across the aisle and uh, do, doing things a little differently. Uh, they're, they're, you're not going to see any partisan legislation get, get passed in the next two years. It's just not going to happen. Some Democrats are grumbling that they'd have easily won a majority on Tuesday if not for the redistricting maps passed by the Republican-controlled legislature. Representative Matt Wilhelm, a contender for House Democratic leader, wants to see how the recounts turn out next week. I think Granite Staters sent a message uh, that was that was very clear, which is that they uh, they don't like the idea of right wing extremists running the state house. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News Nine.